Um, as far as working with these different artists, like what do they need to bring to the table or just have prepared when they work with you? And if have you ever had to tell like an artist, because there's so many want to be up and coming rappers out there. And I'm sure you get a million people coming to you asking you for beats. Yeah, I, get a, I get a million people coming to me and, you know, I have to, I, I fuck with the serious only. The ones who really trying to do it, the ones who gonna do the same thing I'm doing. I invest my money in it, so mm -hmm. they got to invest their money in it and they got to invest their time and shit, you know, in this game free. You know what I mean? Ain't shit in this game free. And shit, you ain't gonna make no money if you ain't gonna spend no money in this game. You get what I'm saying? At this point blank fucking period. Mm -hmm. Okay. So they just have to be like you um, said, willing to invest in themselves and then when you see that the, the artist the artist when you the artist coming to me is really got to be developed. I ain't got time to play with a motherfucker. I ain't got that time to sit down and babysit a motherfucker. You know, a motherfucker got to come to me ready. Mm -hmm. You know, that's how I really, really like it. You know, when the artists don't come to me ready, that shit is kind of like, it's, it's agitating. You know what I'm saying? Because it's, it's, it's agitating. Mm -hmm. You know, it's really just, it's, 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 it's agitating. You know, <laughs> you know, I like money. You know, but shit, you know, time is money, so right. I got to choose my time, time wisely, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> mm -hmm. So I try to, you know, but I think I'm getting out of that, that realm of, you know, because I think I got a lot to offer, and if I really paid attention, paid a little bit more, you know, zoom in and, and focus, a tune in to the artist a little bit more. Mm -hmm. I probably can bring something out of it, so that's going to be one thing I'm going to be trying to do this year is like, you know, be like on some Christopher Columbus shit, you know, yeah. discover a motherfucker. Okay. You know. Okay. Are there any artists who you not work with that you aspire to work with? Yeah, it's some motherfuckers on waiting on. <laughs> they know I'm waiting on their asses. Like who? Huh? I'm waiting on a couple of my partners. <laughs> 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 I'm waiting on a couple of my partners, goddamn it. You know, we all we, we all doing different shit and niggas got different grinds and okay. you know, and we all over the motherfucking place, but I'm waiting to have fun in the studio with a, a couple of my partners. I'm waiting to see how that shit gonna turn out. Mm hmm it's really, it's really, I ain't gonna lie to you. It's about fucking, it's probably gonna be about 20, 30 artists that I'm just, you know what I mean? I'm ready to to go in on, but, you know, 10 of them is some, about 10 of them is some, some niggas I, you know, I know. Mm -hmm. You know, from before, you know, the world knew who they was. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Okay. So. I keep it like that because they know who they are. Mm -hmm. And, you know what I mean? You think I need to say who they is and shit? Because I don't want to do a lot of motherfuckers. With, and we don't do <laughs> a lot of shit. Say somebody that I know. Um, <laughs> Anybody that we might know, like, I don't know who's out there. See? Um, Rick shit. Ross. Would you work Rick, with Rick Ross? Rick Ross. I'm going to be honest with you. I'm going to tell you something. And Ross will tell you this. Ross used to come to the studio. Um, in College Park, that a friend of my own, before when I was a nobody, mm -hmm. trying to get on, and, and, and Rick, you know, it's a nigga with, it's a nigga around here with some masters. Mm -hmm. you, th you might think I'm lying. It's some nigga, it's a nigga around here with some master, a Rick Ross, on some vintage Midnight Black shit. Mm. Um, um, we did that when Rick Ross with Teflon done. I think he was with Suave House and he was running around mm -hmm. the block. And I had just got out of prison and, um, and shit. And a nigga I knew that was locked up with me, you know. 
Like, man, I got this fucking nigga, man. Um, coming in from Florida to rap, I need some beats in the studio. So shit, he brought that cash and booked out the studio. And we was in there working. You know, it was the good days over there, 10 in studios. You know, mm -hmm. a lot of people used to be over there. Um, Shawty Red. Mm -hmm. um, uh, Young Dro. Doshan. Pastor Troy. Bobby Valentino. Block. The Diablos. Mr. Big Time. Um, Buck Power. Um, and, it, and it's a lot more that I'm not naming, mm -hmm. and I'm missing, but <laughs> they was there too. And I'm, if I miss y'all, y'all, y'all here in this interview, I apologize. Yeah. Well, I'm on this. Yeah, yeah, blame <laughs> you know, it on my mind. Cause I gotta, I learn, I gotta watch what I say, cause <laughs> you know what I mean. I'm from two different worlds, so you know what I mean. I'm from two different worlds, and. So, you know, uh, and I did a lot of music independently and majorly, so I got a lot of friends in music, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. I got a lot of friends we understand. that ain't music that be like, <laughs> you know what I mean? Do that shit, you know? Right, but then you be like, hold up now. You no, know, I got friends that push me. I got friends that really push me and get, mm -hmm. get on me and be like, hell no, nah, nigga, that ain't no Grammy shit. Right. And you had to got there. Yeah, the yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and, and you had to come in here, and they'll come in here the next time. You have to play on that shit, and they be like, "That's that Grammy shit. Mm -hmm. That's that Grammy shit." Yeah, and that's the only thing you know I haven't got yet. That mm -hmm. we don't be in raw twice though, fucking Grammy. Mm -hmm. You know they owe us a Grammy. Mm -hmm. You know they owe us for the TM one on one. Mm -hmm. And they owe us a Grammy for that fucking recession. Mm -hmm. They robbed us on that one. Yep, y'all robbed us for our fucking Grammy on the recession. I said it. <laughs> he get it cut and the TM one on and the TM one on one. Oh, they used to be doing it out goddamn. <laughs> they probably used to be doing verses out there. <laughs> <laughs> Well, you know, the sky's still the limit. Yeah, the sky's because the limit. It ain't gonna stop. Right. Okay. Excuse me, y'all. It's Christmas time. You know, TM 103 just came out Tuesday. And Jesus hit the city <laughs> yesterday. And so, I just, it's fucking 7 o'clock and I just woke up two hours ago and I'm back on it. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck it, I'm going to cruise here tonight. <laughs> the business side, you know, I'm just gonna be honest with you, you know, cause I had to learn, and you know, I had my experiences, but I had to learn one thing, and you know, number one thing, and, and regardless of who you know. And what you're doing, and, and how you got there, you just gotta remember that every day, every second, 24 hours, you know, 365, 366, this shit is motherfucking business, 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 business business and if you don't treat it like business somebody else gonna treat it like they business simple okay. you know or you're gonna get handled out of your business right in this business because this business right here this game right here it ain't gonna wait on you it ain't gonna put no motherfucking pacifier in your mouth this game right here gonna run your ass the fuck over if you ain't ready for it, and it's work, 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 consistent work, you know. You know, it's damn near like, I'm working out on this motherfucking keyboard like an NFL player trying to make the Super Bowl. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know, that's how I look at it. Every time I'm in there trying to make a project, you know, I'm trying to make the Super Bowl. 
Cause I know, you know, if I make the Super Bowl, it's gonna be a celebration. Mm -hmm. yeah. Going to the bank, that's the celebration. Cashing that check, that's the celebration. And being able to provide for my family, that's the celebration. You know, and that's what this shit is all about. You know, it's business. You know, mm -hmm. but you got to love what you do first. And don't get sidetracked by the business. So. You gotta learn how to balance this shit. Cause if you don't, it's gonna eat you. You gotta learn how to balance it. It's gonna rip your ass up.